I'm a Martin Watson, Norwegian stencil artist, and I'm in Aberdeen to paint for New Art Festival. Martin, you've got a fantastically colourful wall behind you. It's on the side of a really busy street overlooking the harbour. Tell me about the wall that you just painted. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a reference to um, the quarries uh, that are located around Aberdeen and, uh, and like a little homage to the, the guys that used to work in the quarries, you know, and uh, so there's a guy chipping off like stone and making a smooth uh, block of uh, block of stone out of the like the crazy colors in the uh, background. You do that a lot with your work, don't you? You sort of combine the, the stencil and sort of um, maybe a little bit of historic imagery with uh, really sort of like tags and graph and, and all that sort of stuff. So, so how did that style evolve for you? How did it develop? I don't know. It, it was it was kind of something I just um, I fell into it a little bit. I, I did start graffiti like in the late 90s, early 2000s, and then I started doing stencils. And then after a while, I just combined it, you know. And uh, and um, yeah, so uh, so eventually we just ended up um, doing a combination of the two, and uh, I quite like the the contrast it gives when you have the on one side there's like the colorful tags and graffiti, and then on the other side it's the gray and very like uh, um, graphic um, stencils. So you started graffiti in the so early 90s, did you? Did no, late 90s. Oh. Early 90s, I was only six years old. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. Get that one in, you know that. Yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, what, what got you interested in graffiti and what was it about graffiti and where, where was that in the world? You're Norwegian, right? Sorry, yeah, I'm Norwegian. Uh, I don't know, I was just fascinated by like the ch ever-changing gallery, like uh, things just happening overnight and then I used to like I, I grew up near a subway station and I used to take the subway from when I was quite young to my friend's house and you would see every time you would see like a change in like oh that piece is new that piece is gone and it's like yeah it's, it was an ever-changing thing you know and um, that just fascinated me from, from the start and then uh, yeah then I just fell into stencils I think it was like seeing a book of Banksy's work and then yeah was sold by that so but then yeah eventually combining the two and what sort of time when, when was it that you decided to first combine the two and how did you was it as a happy accident that that worked yeah I'm trying to I, I don't really remember what year I started combining but I think it's like 2010 11 somewhere and then I like, just evolved it a little bit uh, for uh, yeah, I was happy. Uh, it, at at some point, for me, doing stencils got a bit. I like the cutting part, but the painting part is a bit like uh, you just do the layer, spray, do the, another layer, spray, and then it's it's quite like. Uh, it's more or less the same every time, so um, so I wanted to do something more like uh, fluently, you know, or uh, or uh, flowing. So um, yeah, that's why I ended up uh, trying graffiti, mixing graffiti into it. So the graffiti tags that you've got in the background, are there any, are these all your tags, or are you paying tribute to anyone, or what? What sort are you doing? Any particular style in here? It, it kind those. of turns out to be a style and it turns out to be like my letters. I'm, I'm not trying to make it like like some childish or different styles too much, but uh, it's kind of like I put the same letters that I like or words or yeah things like that in and then maybe I'll write my son's name or um, like uh, I'll listen to music and then I'll, I'll put a word in that I hear in the song. So. Um, but on, on big walls like this, it's quite like you kind of have to get up with new ideas or new words so you don't use all the same ones all the time. So it's just literally really organic, you're painting it in the moment, you just, it's, it, it's like, a, it sounds like it's just a flow, you get into a flow and you just do what yeah, you yeah, yeah. right. So definitely it's like, uh, you just get in the flow, start working and then I've done it so many times now, it's like, 
fairly easy to at least lay the base layer and then kind of have to get into the details after a while. So this is the second time you've been in Aberdeen, I think. Yes. Uh, the first time was in right. 2007 and you were the first artist to paint at New Art and it was a golfer, similar yeah. style, but it's gone now. So, so tell me about that piece. Oh, uh, yeah, that had a clear reference to the... A lot of people are coming here to golf, right? And uh, one of the, it was like kind of the cradle of golf in the world. So, uh, so I, uh, I just like I try always try to have something that's attached to the place you are, or the city, or the people, or whatever. And then, yeah, so painted that, and then uh, it got demolished a couple of years ago, I think. And uh, I guess yeah, it's nice to be back and have like a new wall. Uh, so at least I'm represented. <laughs> and then a good, another good reference to, to Aberdeen with the, gra with the granite. Yeah. Uh, Martin, thanks very much. Thank you.